A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 17th April. On the front page you have, after Supreme Court wrap, Election Commission wakes up to its powers. So this was actually the front page news yesterday too, where the advocate representing the Election Commission in the petition before the Supreme Court argued that Election Commission is toothless and has no powers uh, to take action against, you know, People who indulge in hate speeches, they can only serve them notices and they have to reply to it. If they don't reply, the election commission can initiate criminal case against them. So now the Supreme Court, uh, you know, has said, uh, at that time also yesterday, it said that we give you 24 hours to act. And now the election commission has actually acted and it has passed restraining orders against leading politicians. Like what was there on the front page yesterday itself. Like, uh, you know, it, within hours, this action was taken. Uh, UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath, DSP Supremo Mayawati, Samajwadi leader Azam Khan and BJP leader Maneka Gandhi, all four saw restraining orders against them, which, in which they were restrained from election campaign. So, these uh, are some of the provisions, you know, some laws that can be used in speeches that are communally sensitive or incite religious feelings. This is section 124A of IPC, which penalizes sedition. And then there is section 153A of IPC penalizes promotion of enmity between different groups on grounds of religion, race, place of birth, residence, language, etc. So that is not allowed. Representation of People's Act, one section 123 and section 125 prohibit promoting of enmity on grounds of same religion, race, caste, community or language with respect to election. And Cable TV Networks Regulation Act also has provisions, you know. Uh, prohibit transmission or retransmission of a program in contravention to the prescribed program or advertisement code. Then even Cinematography Act prohibits uh, uh, no, and regulates the screening of a film. Too. So these powers are there. Our representation of People's Act is specifically with respect to elections and IPC uh, also has these laws. Then below you have Supreme Court to decide on entry of women into mosque. So Supreme Court is going to hear this case. It is a petition by a Muslim couple. So they, they say that the women should be allowed entry into mosques all across the country. And this is post the Sabrimala case in which the Supreme Court ruled that women of all age groups can enter into the sanctum sanctorum of the Sabrimala shrine. So this is now another demand being made on which the Supreme Court will have hearings. Then, then on page 5 you have Tharoor hails Sitharaman civility as she calls on him. So this is Congress leader Shashi Tharoor. So he was injured when he was performing a ritual at a temple in Kerala in Thiruvananthapuram where, from where he will be contesting to. So he, he was performing Thulabhara. So Thulabhara ritual. Uh, was being performed. So it's actually a scale, a weighing scale in which a person sits on one side and uh, you know any commodity like flour, sweets, etc. is filled up on the other side and uh, weight equal to the person's weight is taken and that commodity is donated. So that is Thulabhara ritual which is being conducted. That is more important for us. You should know what does it mean. So while he was performing this ritual, the scale gave way and the heavy iron hook fell on his head. So this is Thulabharam ritual you can see. So because of which he has sustained injuries, there are eight stitches which had, which had to be made on his head. And the BJP leader, Nirmala Sitaraman, she visited him to the hospital and he appreciated the civility. On the editorial page, the first editorial is sealed disclosure. So this is regarding the electoral bond scheme. The Supreme Court has ordered that uh, all political parties should give sealed detail in sealed co cover details regarding the donations which they have received from electoral bonds and from whom did they receive them. So, so it is said Supreme Court order will not alter the influence of electoral bonds on polls. So this is an interim order of the Supreme Court and we will see what these sealed disclosures will reveal and what the Supreme Court rules. And this is at a crossroads. So this is regarding Omar al-Bashir of Sudan. So he stepped down from the post of president and now a military council has been established which the protesters are still opposing. They say we don't want military rule, we want a quick transition to civilian rule. 
so that is discussed in this editorial the lead article indian elections south asian concerns so this article says that south asia wants the very best of democracy for india plus to share in the peace dividend growth and camaraderie that is about elections in the region and how indian elections you know are very important and how they set the trend for south asia as such implications of the indonesian vote so this is regarding elections in indonesia we discussed in editorial yesterday that indonesia will see president prime ministerial and local elections taking place uh, uh, you know uh, uh, central provincial and local elections taking place at the same time so the contenders for president may be very different it says but e either way ties with india are set to deepen so again you can skip this is regarding indonesia politics then here you actually have an interview with a veteran journalist pranoy roy and this is regarding how us china trade conflict trade conflict is holding back global growth then on international page there is no important news except this uh, continuation of yesterday's news notre dame cathedral in paris in france uh, was was on fire so there is no sign of arson in the cathedral place means nobody purposely set up that fire but the inferno the huge fire consumed the roof and brought down the spire of the 8th century old cathedral so that is detailed out here regarding the cathedral then on business page you have hdfc mutual fund justifies giving more time to sl promoters so we had seen regarding these mutual funds Uh, which are facing trouble because of SL Group not being able to repay, you know, and that is resulting in the mutual fund not being able to pay back to the. These are actually fixed majority plans (FMPs). If you can recall, like it was Kotak and HDFC, which we had discussed. HDFC had extended the time, so now this is how it is justifying, you know, giving more time to the SL promoters to repay. So investors have to be repaid by HDFC, but see, as long as uh, SL Group do not repay the HDFC mutual fund because the mutual fund invested there as well, so then it will become difficult to repay the investors. So investors to, uh, were told to roll over FMPs or redeem at current net asset values. So that has been done here. It has been justified steps taken, and below you have. Das may be indicating second generation policy signals. So, it, SBI report says this is similar to U.S. Federal Reserve. So, recently RBI Governor Shatik Shakti Kanda said that uh, suggested that uh, there is a need to move away from the conventional magnitude of rate revisions that are in multiples of twenty five basis points. So, means uh, we should have. You know more of uh, rate revisions, not conventional. So this is indicative of second generation policy signals, like U.S. Federal Reserve is what SBI report says. So, and below you have banks have to mark ILNFS accounts as NPAs after default. So this is what RBI told the National Company Law Appellate Tribunal that banks have to classify the accounts of debt-ridden ILNFS and its group companies as NPAs, non-performing assets, in terms of its master circular and the supreme court's judgment so if it is a default of 90 days then it is a non performing asset but the government what it has taken it has stepped in and has given protection to the new board which has been formed for managing island affairs and on the last page you have lakes are filled with liquid methane on titan so this is saturn's moon titan and scientists have provided Uh, the most comprehensive look till date of the solar system's most exotic features the uh, lakes in on titan which is the moon of saturn so this is made of liquid methane so this is nasa's cassini spacecraft which ended its mission in 2017 with a deliberate plunge into the saturn has given these details Good. these are frigid lakes of titan made of liquid hydrocarbons like methane and they are deep they may be shallow and seasonal uh, some of them are shallow and seasonal many are deep so that is it these are the news items 
For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website ahr.com, download the PDF as well as you can, which will be uploaded by the end of the day. And you can also enroll for the current affairs video course, which is a separate course in which detailed current affairs coverage is given. Thank you.